Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi guys, come back again with me and my friend And here we want to show our presentation about technique translation And this presentation created by me, Ayuning C and my friend Munawar Sirai And with the guidance of the lecturer, Ms. Hairani Hayat Sitomora, SPDM Group And guys, we are from the Dar al Ulum Institute of Islamic Religion, Hisaran Asa. So guys, please like our video and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Alright guys, translation technique according to expert and the example. First, according to her, translation technique is something that is required to solve translation problems in the order of word sentences or paragraphs. Nah guys, menurut Hood, teknik dalam penerjemahan itu adalah sesuatu yang diperlukan untuk memecahkan masalah penerjemahan dalam urutan kata, kalimat, ataupun paragraf. And then, there are some translation technique from Hood, namely, nah, ada beberapa uh, teknik translation atau teknik penerjemahan dari food yang hanya yaitu transposisi transposisi a translation technique that changes the structure of the sentences to get a correct translation for example thread secrets and confidential rahasia data and then penerjemahan deskriptif In this technique, the translator makes a description that containing the meaning of the word in question because cannot find the equivalent word. For example, licensed software, perangkat lunak yang dilisensikan. Next, modulasi. Modulation provides equivalents that are semantically different in meaning, but in the context concerned gives the intended message. For example, the laws of Germany govern this agreement. Perjanjian ini diatur oleh hukum Jerman. Next, contextual conditioning. Contextual conditioning is a translation technique that gives the word for exact for ex, for explain the word that we cannot understand. For example, he is fond of sushi and wasabi. Dia suka sekali sushi dengan bumbu wasabi. Next to according to new mock translation technique is deal with the word text. Translation procedure are used for sentence and smaller units of language. Nah, jadi menurut Neumab, teknik penerjemahan berurusan dengan keseluruhan teks. Prosedur penerjemahan digunakan untuk kalimat dan unit bahasa yang lebih kecil. There some translation techniques from Neumab normally. A. Word for word translation. The word in the target language are usually placed directly under the version of the short language. For example, they will arrive in London tomorrow. B. Linear translation. Translator usually translate the source text like how to translate word for word. But then the translator added the wording to the target grammar. For example, the sonar, the water. And C. Adaptation Technique This translation adaptation is widely used for translating for three and drama. For example, Swap. Where are you? Why did you like me? Remember you remember me. I will never forget you from us. Okay guys, next, the third, according to Molina and Albir. 
translation technique is a method used to transfer message from search language to target language and applied at the level of words, phrase, clause, and sentences. Nah guys, menurut Molina dan Albert, teknik penerjemahan adalah cara yang digunakan untuk mengalihkan pesan dari bahasa sumber ke bahasa target dan diterapkan pada tatanan kata, rasa, kausa, maupun kalimat. And there is some translation technique from Molina and Albert, namely. Nah, dan ada beberapa contoh teknik translation atau teknik penerjemahan yang dikemukakan oleh Molina dan Albert, yang terakhirnya itu first adaptation. The technique can do by replacing the existing cultural elements in search language with similar cultural elements in target language. For example, as white as snow, seputih kapas. And next, amplification. Make explicit or paraphrase an information that is implicit in the search language. For example, Ramadan, bulan puasa kaum muslim. Next, borrowing or peminjaman. The technique you can do by borrow the word from the search language. For example, mixer to be mixer. Next, kolku or kolku. The technique can do by translating phrase or words example Directoral General Directorat General Next, Compensation The technique can do by conveying message to other parts of the translated text For example, a pair of scissors Sebuah gunting And, next, Description Translation technique applied by using a term or expression with description and function. For example, panettone, kue tradisional Italia yang dimakan pada saat tahun baru. Next, this technique use a more general term in the search language for a more specific and target language. For example, mention, tempat tinggal, and other technique that Albert and Molina have give to us. All right, guys. The last is the conclusion. The conclusion that can be drawn from the discussion of translation technique is that translation in general is a change of search language to target language without changing the meaning of the search language. And translation has several techniques that have been revealed by some experts such as Hood, Molina and Albier and also Newmark which aims to make it easier for us to translate. Nah guys, kita dapat mengambil kesimpulan bahwa translation atau penerjemahan ini ialah pengubahan bahasa sumber ke bahasa target tanpa mengubah arti sebenarnya yang terdapat di bahasa sumber itu sendiri. Dan translation atau penerjemahan ini memiliki beberapa teknik yang tujuannya untuk memudahkan kita melakukan translation atau penerjemahan dari bahasa sumber ke bahasa target itu sendiri. Nah, guys, ada beberapa expert atau ahli yang telah mengemukakan pendapat mereka mengenai teknik-teknik dalam penerjemahan atau translation teknik. Di antara expert tersebut ialah Hood, 
Molina and Albert and also New York. Dan tujuan mereka mengemukakan pendapat mereka mengenai teknik translation ini ialah untuk memudahkan kita uh, melakukan translation atau penerjemahan. Sehingga pada saat kita melakukan penerjemahan, kita dapat uh, menggunakan uh, teknik-teknik yang telah dikemukakan mereka. Alright guys, that's all our presentation about translation technique and we hope you can take the lesson from our presentation and we say sorry if there are mistakes that we made in this presentation and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel guys and the last uh, we say thanks for watching see you guys and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh